This is the Suicide Six Pack Championship Match. Here he comes, ladies and gentlemen, the BSC Suicide Six-Pack Champion, Extremo. And the crowd is going wild here in Brampton, Ontario. Arda O'Cal here calling the action alongside me, my broadcast colleague, Tommy James. Arda, this is exciting. This is the most intense action that you're going to see here in a BSC ring. It doesn't get any bigger than the Suicide Six-Pack Championship. and doesn't get any bigger than the Suicide Six-Pack Champion who as you can see is a fighting champion as he starts this matchup with the youngster Anthony Fiasco. Yeah, well Anthony Fiasco, a young up and comer here and uh, I, ex I expect to see a lot of big things for him uh, coming up in, in the next year. Look at that athleticism from Extremo. More athleticism there into a pinfall attempt, only a one count. I tell you what, Tommy James, whenever Extremo's in the ring to me, it's like a playoff atmosphere inside the building. The fans are just extra excited to see this individual inside the squared circle. And with reason, this man has been wrestling inside a BSC Pro uh, ring for many years now. And fans certainly remember the matches and memories that he has provided. Well, Extremo, very decorated, a former BSC Tag Team Champion, now the longest reigning six-pack champion, uh, well over a year now. It is one of the hardest titles you can hold on to right now in professional wrestling. You're against five other competitors, and you don't even have to be pinned to lose the title. You're absolutely right about that. Extremo in the most difficult situations every time he enters a six-pack championship match. Even if he's not in the ring like he's not right now, he could lose the belt. As his tag team partner, his former tag team partner, Cody 45, and El Tornado enter the ring, and El Tornado taking some liberties right there on Cody 45. The referee asking him to open up that fist. And we've seen that from El Tornado in the past. He does everything it takes in order to win a match. El Tornado, the only thing he gets up running here is a kitchen sink. Well, 4045 is giving him a taste of his own medicine there. Here in the Terry, Terry Miller Recreation Center in Brampton, Ontario. Suicide Six Pack Championship. To the ropes in reversal. The athleticism there from 4045, as you see it there, cover the count. Only a two count. 45 it, it seems as of late because his former tag team partner uh, when he was a tag team champion Extremo is now the suicide six-pack champion it seems like Cody 45 has felt the need to prove something to himself and to the fans that he is equal to his former tag team partner yeah well Cody 45 in his own right has Whoa. He's been in the ring just as long as Extremo has, and uh, you know what? They've picked up a lot of from each other, and they've shared a lot of a lot of information, and uh, you know what? A lot of techniques. And Cody 45, like you said, in his own right, wanted to be right up there with Extremo, hoping to even capture the six-pack championship. In comes the monster, Frankie the Mobster, and the young man Anthony Fiasco joins him in the squared circle, and Anthony Fiasco. A newcomer here in BSC Pro, he's wrestled quite a bit in the BSC Pro ring, but I don't think he's met anybody the likes of Frankie the Mobster inside that square circle thus far. You know, Frankie the Mobster about as uh, about as predictable as a roll of the dice, and you know what? You, you don't know what that what this guy's going to do next. I'll tell you what, even with a roll of the dice, you have a one in six chance of getting it right. I don't think you ever have a chance of knowing what Frankie the Mobster is going to be doing inside that square circle. Well, I used to play Dungeons and Dragons, and we have like eleven sided dice, so you know. right. How could I forget Tommy James? The Suicide Six Pack Championship here in BSC Pro, as you mentioned, Tommy James, held by Extremo for over a year. The likes of Kaz, Johnny Devine, these are all competitors that have competed for this title and it's it's a high profile belt in the world of professional wrestling and a lot of people uh, it's a sought after belt. 
Well, you know what? You say that or continue that list. There's been Christopher Daniels, Robert Rude, Chris Saban, uh, a whole bunch of other guys. Uh, Akira Raijin, known as Kiyoshi now. And a lot of men have, even in BSC and all from around the world, have come in to try to to capture this coveted title. And the interesting thing is when those when all of these names come into these matches, they seem to gun for the champion. Regardless of if you can pin anybody in the matchup, they want to test themselves against the champion Extremo because he's the guy that holds the belt and they feel that, you know what, we're coming into a different organization. We want to see how we fare against that organization's champion. As the action continues here inside the squared circle, El Tornado, the crafty one, making a tag. Right off of Big Brian Youngblood, who you just saw exit the ring. Anthony Fiasco now getting the brunt. Look at that, though. The referee is in plain view. He needs to break that up. He can clearly see the tape. That's right. He needs to get that out of the ring immediately. El Tornado using whatever means he can to try and get a win. And you know, as you say with that tag that El Tornado tried to do, and these, the rules in this match are a little more or less traditional because if you're out of the ring, someone else can go in the ring. You don't always need a tag. One competitor is left from the ring, another competitor can jump in the fracas. Right sort, of, sort of lucha style rules in terms of these matchups. And as we said, anybody can win the championship regardless of if the champion is in the ring. And we've only seen the champion in the ring right at the beginning of the matchup. And he could very well lose his title here tonight as his tag team partner, Cody45, has now entered the ring. A big scoop and a big slam. And Anthony Fiasco has received multiple amounts of those in this matchup thus far. A little big leg rock drop there. Cover the count. But Frankie the Mobster in the ring to break it up. Take nothing away from Cody 45. Certainly one of the more high-flying individuals in BSC Pro. Anthony Fiasco has his work cut out for him as he's faced literally everyone in this matchup so far. Look at that though. Big brackbreaker. How did Anthony Fiasco pull that one off?